What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And, you know, I'm not a big EDC guy. Like, you see these YouTube channels that have all kinds of EDC stuff where they review knives and flashlights and stuff. And I've never been that big into it. But, that being said, uh, there's been, you know, there's a big deal with companies now, I guess, advertising this stuff. And guess what? They're advertising it to me, sending me stuff. And I say no to almost everything, but this Olight stuff, I have actually been pretty impressed with. And uh, we talked about this thing, um, which I've actually been using a little bit. And I, I like it. I think it's good. So... I'm kind of, I put this in my briefcase for work with my laptop and stuff when I roll around to places. Um, you know, I've used it a couple times. But anyway, they sent me, Olight did, some new flashlights. And they got a sale going on right now. I'll put links or whatever in the description. But um, I've been using this one. This is the, the i3 EOS. Um, it's a cheap little light. It uses one AAA, and it's got a a double click kind of button on it that's kind of useful. Um, I like this kind of flashlight for this thing right here. This is just like my everyday tool pouch that y'all seen, and I always keep one of these in there. I have kept this one in there forever. This is a stream light, and it's actually like started messing up on me for some reason. Like, um, and it has the the older style USB. So, what they sent me here is USB C. So it's kind of an upgrade. But this stream light was good to me for a while. It started kind of like I'm. I've been having to shake it. It's working right now, but sometimes I'll have to like go like that and get it to to do right so it's been pissing me off a little bit but I love these because you can put that on the brim of your ball cap or whatever um, so they're a good little EDC light I guess and I've been using this one I've only had to change the battery in it once I like the interchangeable batteries um, instead of a rechargeable really for my stuff because when I run out of a battery, when I run out of juice in a flashlight, I want to, um, you know, be able to just change the battery rather than have to plug it in and wait, you know, like when I need a flashlight, I need it now. So, um, they sent me these. This one is the i5R EOS. Uh, this one's rechargeable. It's a little bit fatter but it's got the same kind of design like this. And these ones, these Olight ones have like a real low setting that you can barely, you know, it's just a real low setting and then a high setting. And the high setting's bright. That's what I use most of the time. But the low setting is, it, it's actually good because it, it uses almost no batteries. And that's the point, I guess. You can, you can use this for a long time and just have that low setting on the first click. And you can do a lot of stuff and not if you're, you know, where you can't plug this one in because this one is rechargeable. It has the uh, rechargeable USB-C battery. It looks like a, it's like the size of a double A or whatever. I don't know if I like that as much as just like a something like this where you just plug it in. I think it's kind of annoying to have to take the battery out to plug it in, but this is only like 20 something bucks right now on sale. Uh, so if you need a light like that, probably pretty good. And this one is like 15 or something. Uh, this one is the i3T EOS. And I guess maybe it's a newer, this one's different. This is the i3T EOS too, this black one. But this button is different. It's got like a double click, so you can click it once and it won't go all the way. This one just has a regular button. I don't know if they've discontinued that kind or whatever, but 
you know, this is a nice kind of blue one. Uh, but this, I guess, is the same light. I've had good luck with this one. It's been really good for me. It's a good size, good to just slide in a tool pouch or something. I use it almost every day and I've only had to change the one AAA battery once. So that's been awesome. So I would highly recommend this one and it's super cheap, like 15 bucks or something on sale. And then if you wanna spend a little more money, they've got this guy here, which is the arc filled. And it's already, it's got a magnet as you can see, picking up stuff in my shop metal shavings and stuff from tool restorations um but you can see here it's got this dial and that does the laser pointer there i don't really ever need a laser pointer but hey you know it's got a bunch of tricks you can do with it you can hold it and make it brighter it's got like four or five settings you can just cycle between them no strobe or anything like that, which is good. I hate strobes. But it's cool. It's made for EDC stuff. You can put it, it's flat like this kind of, so you can slide it in your pocket. Use the, if you need a laser pointer a lot, you can use that. I don't know how much I'll ever use this. It's like 80 bucks or something on sale right now. I don't know how much I love that price. I think it might be a little bit overpriced for what it is, to be honest. Um, it's got like a thousand lumens on the highest setting is what it says. It doesn't really seem like that to me. Like the highest setting is right there and I don't, it's hard to tell without cutting the, I mean, it's bright, it's super bright, but it's hard to tell without turning the lights off. Let's turn the lights off and see. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thousand lumen, like lumen ratings are weird. They don't make sense to me sometimes. I have a thousand lumen lights that really look way brighter than this one. So I don't know what all that means, but if you're into EDC stuff and you want a light that fits in your pocket good, this one does fit in your pocket good. And it's got kind of a cool finish on it, similar to this knife they gave me, which this knife I've been using a lot, uh, it's not my everyday knife because if we're talking about EDC, every day, this is the knife I keep in my pocket. That's the case knife, made in USA. You won't get any better than, than these right here these fit in your pocket the best they're the best pocket knife but i keep this one laying around uh between the shop and my house and when i need a bigger knife you know something that really is a little more heavy duty this thing's awesome um i really like it so a lot of this stuff that they make is good this o light stuff uh so it's cool that i got that i never would have bought this myself but i can vouch for this little light uh, this one's really good. We'll put this one through its paces. It seems pretty good too for a rechargeable. It's an upgrade over my Streamlight one and it's cheaper, but I don't, I'm trying to convert everything to the USB-C so I don't have that old USB charger. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I guess I'm turning into one of those EDC bros or whatever. Now that I've got all this stuff, all this EDC stuff, pretty neat. Uh, not stuff that I probably would have bought on my own, but now that I have it, I can see myself buying more of it. I don't know. Um, it's great to have little flashlights and little tools around in my line of work because I never know when I'm going to run into something that I have to fix real quick. So anyway, I'm thinking of getting some more like little smaller pliers and stuff to go kind of with my little stuff like this because um, it's actually been useful for me uh, having a little screwdriver in places that I don't normally keep them. So anyway. I guess I'm an EDC guy now. Thanks for watching.